Alrighty, the Camera Gram program one year later. Um, my name's Eduardo. I work at Meta, but I've been involved with Maplory since 2015. And we started this program one year ago. The idea is we hand out cameras to people in the United States to try to increase the amount of street level imagery that's available for mapping. There's still many parts of the United States where we need more imagery, but um, even when you collect imagery, it becomes out of date very quickly. So OpenStreetMap US was really kind. They said, yes, we will do this with you. And Jess Butler, who's no longer with OSM US, um, was, was a key part of it, helping us to send out cameras. So what did we do? We purchased 20 GoPro Max cameras just to begin with and some of the equipment that's needed to go with them. These are just very easy cameras to use. Um, a lot of people have used a GoPro before. Sent them to Jess Butler. She had boxes coming from Walmart and Amazon and GoPro to her house. We'd get applications in, she'd send them out. Super rudimentary, but it worked. Only 47 applications for 20 cameras, so the odds were pretty good for anyone applying. Interesting facts for people who may, might want to consider applying to the next round. The median score of people who had applied was 150,000 images already uploaded to Maplory, or an average of 560, because um, obviously the top people upload a lot. But what this means is we're looking for people who have already shown an interest in street level imagery. You have a smartphone, most people have a smartphone at least, you can use that to contribute imagery. And that shows like, hey, I'm, I'm serious about collecting imagery, I have a use for this. If I get a camera, it's not just gonna gather dust on my shelf or I'm not gonna sell it on eBay, I actually wanna use it. And so uh, that's why we do that. Um, so if you are thinking about applying, I encourage you to start collecting now and get a sense of Maplory, what it's capable of, what data you can download from it. We saw that most of the people applying were like kind of, East of uh, Minnesota, which I found very interesting. I don't think we got anyone accepted who was, who was west of Minnesota. And this is a grant program, not a lending program. Once you get the camera, it's yours. Um, we don't want to ship boxes across the United States. Like, it's yours. And that's why we like, try to be very careful about um, who receives the camera with OpenStreetMap US making that selection. Some stats. Average images uploaded so far is about 57,000, 58,000. Tree Strider, number one um, in Michigan, has uploaded almost 300,000 images, which is an amazing contribution. And the average so far is about 20,000. But we're seeing that people share the camera around, which is great. Um, makes it a bit harder to track, uh, but, but it's good to see the cameras getting shared around in some towns where maybe people don't have use for it every day. So we've seen images come in, in in New York City, which is cool. Uh, Beta New York City has a camera there and they use a Maplery organization, which is like a parent category and you can have users underneath it. And, and so they use that to track who's contributing. Um, cycle infrastructure in New York City is their focus and, and, and parks as well. We've seen bicycle trails in, uh, in this is Lansing in Michigan. We have, uh, does anyone know this state? West Virginia, yes. Uh, so Morgantown is like completely captured now thanks to, uh, thanks to the department, the city there that applied for a camera and received it. So that's a new town with a, a strong open street map community that now has imagery. Wisconsin has 360 imagery now, or at least parts of it thanks to the infamous Justin Myers. Um, I think he captured on boats as well, which is cool. Some imagery of the lakes of Minnesota and Wisconsin. And then some back roads of Virginia too. So we've seen all sorts of contributions from the downtown New York to the back roads of Virginia and um, West Virginia as well. And now we're looking at the next steps. We need <laughs> to get more budget to like increase and scale this, but we'd love to talk to people maybe after this lightning talk about what you wanna see. We think a public leaderboard would be good to see who's using the cameras, more detailed setup guides so you know what to do when you get a camera. We have equipment for cars specifically now, but maybe people want bicycle equipment as well. That was very popular in Europe where we're also running this program. More formal sharing programs. So if you wanna share the camera and maybe like you know you can use it for a road trip in summer, but you don't think you'll use it after that, like this more uh, logistics setup to, to share the cameras around. Um, yeah, maybe a tasking manager to coordinate mapping. There's also talk about um, OSM US, like having a, a parent organization as well to track contributions. So I'd love to know what you wanna see from a camera grant program. The GoPro is long in the tooth now. This is it here. It's, it's still a great camera. It works really well with Maplery. You just drag and drop the files. But uh, there might be a new one coming out soon, we hear, according to GoPro. So if there is a new one, we'll try to buy more of those and like the latest camera if it has GPS, and we'll send those out. 
So happy mapping. If you're interested, these are our contact details. I'm here for 24 hours and uh, yeah, great to see you all.